Pierre Hanson, Craigless Quarry, where a sandstone quarry where we produce uh, high PAV stone for the asphalt industry. One of the problems at Craigless is the high silica content of the stone. When we crush it, it produces uh, RCS. It's one of the main priority on site is to control the RCS to make sure that uh, we, we protect the health and well-being of all the employees and contractors on site. A few years ago, uh, Hanson set up a, a working party with all the business line. One of the issues that was found very quickly was that uh, the way we measure dust is you put a monitor for eight hours, you take it away, it goes to be uh, analyzed, it comes back a few weeks later, it just gives you average over the day. Every time we put a control measure in place, we, we don't really know what the effect is. Uh, the, the result from the dust monitoring cannot pinpoint what was happening at what time during the day. It just gives you an overall picture for the day. We were looking for real-time monitoring of RCS dust. We couldn't find any in the market. But in 2018, Marion Garfield, she's the head of sustainability for Hanson, went to Hillhead, where she met Matt from Trolex. And as it happened, Trolex was looking for a company to uh, trial uh, real-time monitoring RCS. This sensor actually detects crystalline silica in real time. No other technology can achieve this currently. We use light scattering for time of flight and shape. We use an imagery system as well to detect whether it's a crystalline structure or not. And then we use a number of parameters around biorefringents. These combined together with a unique algorithm allow us to detect crystalline silica in real time. Over the last 12 months we've been working with Hansen with this prototype sensor to try and look at real world environments, how can we improve the robustness, how can we make it fit for purpose. The benefits for having access to real time data, if you make improvements on your plant, introduce a dust suppression system, tweak a process, you get to see that data live in real time. We do still have a long way to go, it's a very complicated thing to try and achieve, uh, but we're hoping in 2020 to have a product ready for the marketplace. The benefit of being able to measure real-time RCS uh, level is uh, being able to make sure that uh, all the controls are working as they should, that the level are, are kept as well as possible to, to ensure the, the safety of all the employees and, and, and contractors. It also will help you when you put capital expenditures to make sure we target the, the capital in, in the right place that will have the, the most effect on RCS control.